Hello everybody, my name is Captain Fructose and welcome to Space Engineers. Today we are doing another review and crash test. Um, this will be of the Carillion Cruiser, also known as the Rebel Blockade Runner. Um, and I've checked this ship out a little bit. It is, the only thing I really don't like about it is it's extremely confusing on the inside as to where you need to go to get where you're trying to go in the ship. Very confusing. But it does have cool little things, like it's got ejector tubes, and I like how they use the blaster doors as places where you can actually like walk onto the ship. Uh, all the thrusters on this ship are um, the uh, hydrogen thrusters, except for these, there's some atmospheric thrusters down here at the bottom. Other than that, they are all the hydrogen thrusters. And yeah, so let's go ahead and review the inside of the ship here. Um, so in here, I'm assuming this is where the, um, what are they called? The escape pods go. Yep, there's the escape pods. Or one of them, at least. So there's an escape pod. So yeah, there actually is quite a few of these, um, bays for the escape pods. There's four of them. Um, oh, is that whole thing? In it? That whole thing's an escape pod. Oh, so yeah, there's a total of four escape pods on the Carillion Cruiser. Um, we do have some external um, air vents to collect air when you land on a planet. Here is the front of the ship, the, uh, and there's an airlock right there. There's airlocks underneath. There is actually another airlock down here. Oh, hello, right up there. Well, it's not really an airlock, but it's just a way into the ship. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. That is an ion thruster. I meant there is a single ion thruster right there that I missed, apparently. So, there's an ion thruster. These are all the hydrogen thrusters, though. Honestly, the ship actually looks really good. They did a really good job on this ship. Um, it's got some laser antennas and a normal antenna. Uh, all this stuff on the outside. So let's go ahead and head on in. We'll go through the front airlock here because I get turned around and we'd never find our way back to the bridge. Oh crap, I just depressurized the ship. <laughs> I'm doing great. Close the airlocks up here. Oxygen, there it goes, okay. Oxygen's starting to come back in here now. Okay, so we got some monitors here, here. We've got the control for the ship. So we can control the ship. Stuff like that. So that's the bridge. We got a programmable block here. So we'll head back here. So we got a few more programmable blocks. Uh, and then we've got some cryo chambers back in here. These are all cryo chambers. Really dark right here, though. Um, there is another way up. So if we go up right here. Maybe. There we go. Um, there's a backup bridge with some screens and a few more controlled stations. So that's just bas basically in case the regular bridge gets exploded. So there is that one there, just back from the normal bridge. So if we continue our journey backwards in this ship, it gets more confusing. So there's a couple of side airlocks. These are the side airlocks that we were looking at earlier with the uh, hangar bay doors as extendable bridges. Uh, we come farther back, we've got this open area, continue farther back. This is the door that goes out by the uh, atmospheric thrusters. We have a couple more um, airlocks, sorry, lost my train of thought there for a second. A couple more airlocks here, so we're going to head back in here. This is the main central hub of the ship, so you come in here, you're going to want to turn around, face the door, if we go up. Oh wait, hold on, this one doesn't. <laughs> uh, we have some more programmable blocks and a med bay. If you can see, it's kind of dark, but there is a med bay there. So that's what's up here. Then if we go down, oh, open sesame. This is a hangar bay at the bottom of the ship, so we can store some really tiny, tiny little ships in here, or some drones or something. Um, we have going through here. Uh, we have more storage, conveyor, and all kinds of stuff here. And then we go farther back. This ship is 
really big, by the way. Very, that's why it's so confusing, because there's freaking things that go all over the place, and yeah. We open these doors up. And we have another airlock to the outside, out of the rear of the ship. So that's what's through those doors there. We also have another way up here. So we can get up here. Another programmable block. Oh, wait a minute. Did I get turned around? I think I got turned around. We're back at the front of the ship. Uh, so yeah, there's several ways to the front of the ship. Sorry. I got turned completely around. But as you can see, the ship is really well done. Very cool. I like it. And it's even better because it's freaking Star Wars. So that just makes it that much better. Alright. So, main captain's chair. Alright, so we are going to head back down towards the planet. Hydrogen thrusters have full power! Holy crap. Dang, this thing accelerated fast. There's a reason they call it the Rebel Blockade Runner, because this thing is freaking fast. Freaking fast. Why am I dropping like this? I gotta be like spaceship, like Star Wars style stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome just because it's a freaking Star Wars ship. Oh my gosh. Um, honestly, with the new introduction of the planets, the best thrusters are these hydrogen thrusters because they work inside the atmosphere and outside the atmosphere, so you don't have to worry about having like 50 billion ion thrusters and 50 billion atmospheric thrusters just to be able to maneuver in the atmosphere and outside the atmosphere, which is one thing I really like about this ship because they added the freaking hydrogen thrusters on it, so yeah, it's just awesome. Oh geez, we're coming in way too fast. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. We need to slow down, we need to slow down, we need to slow down. So, we need to pull up. Major, major, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. We're coming in way too fast. Oh crap, oh, we're so dead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, fudge sticks. Oof. Oh, mama. Oh, we hit hard. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oof. Stuck in the wreckage. Holy crap. Oh, that thruster's still going. Oh, jeez. Whoa. What the freak? I didn't know there was plates like that. That's cool. I like that. The ship itself is still running. The crap? There's not much left on it, but it's still running. Holy cow. Now that's a well-designed ship. If it can freaking crash land at 500 meters a second and then keep running afterwards wow just wow we're under attack escape the atmosphere okay so we're back in the ship and uh, we are going to take one of the escape pods so here's the escape pod airlocks so we're gonna take one of these escape pods and see oh geez how well it works nine oh dear we've been ejected and apparently we've ejected a few of the other escape pods as well <laughs> in the process oh my gosh that's so cool though we've even got our own little turret to protect ourselves as we fall towards the planet. Ah! Oh, we're gonna hit hard, guys. We're gonna hit hard. Hold on! Oi! Wow, that didn't really do much, did it? <laughs> we left a nice little dent in the ground, and that's about it. But we got away. The Rebel Blockade Runner is up there getting attacked. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that crash landing and the crash landing of our escape pod and our nice little crater now. 
Anyways, but yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date when I upload more videos. Um, and yeah, as always, guys, thank you for joining me on this wonderful adventure. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.